Fusion 360 gives you access to free-form modeling tools that have traditionally been reserved for industrial designers. The Sculpt environment is a specific set of tools that are designed to help you quickly and easily build curvature continuous geometry in Fusion 360. There is a lot of functionality and flexibility in the Sculpt environment, but let's spend a few minutes going over some basics. To get started, I'll switch to the Sculpt environment from the Model Toolbar by clicking the Create Form icon. A message appears letting me know that I've entered Sculpt and that model history won't be captured for every edit and change while I'm in this environment. The Sculpt environment is similar to the Sketch environment. They're both modes you enter and exit to create single features in the timeline that you can go back to and edit later, without affecting other features in the timeline. To create a shape, I'll click the drop-down menu in the Create panel, and here you'll see a list of primitive shapes. Primitives are predefined shapes that start you with a volume or form for your sculpting in the sculpt environment. They allow you to create a basic form that closely matches your design requirement, and then modify it using the sculpt environment's editing tools. For now, I'll click Box, which is a watertight primitive. Later on, I'll work with an open profile primitive. Just like the modeling environment in Fusion 360, when you select a shape in the canvas, you'll be prompted to select a plane and drag a shape to a desired size or proportion, or simply specify dimensions. When you define the perimeter of this shape, the primitive appears as a closed, watertight shape. This dialog box allows you to adjust the shape's other parameters as well, such as the number of faces, its direction, and symmetry. The number of length, width, and height faces parameters will help you control the detail you can add to the shape. More faces means more detail, and more control is possible. Typical best practice is to start with less detail, then add as you need to refine. You want to add only enough detail to capture the intended shape. With the size of the shape specified, I'd like to add some symmetry to create a uniform shape in two planes. I'll select Mirror and you'll see an option to create symmetry along the length, width, and height. I'll add symmetry to the length and the width, and notice that this primitive will be added as a new body. Notice that the shape is completely smooth by default. This is a curvature continuous box, and as you edit the size, Fusion 360 will maintain that continuity. Also, notice that the primitive shape has drag handles along the three primary directions. These are a dynamic, graphical way to edit the number of faces and the size of the shape. They also correspond to the respective input fields in the dialog box. Before moving on, I want to mention that this primitives dialog box is only available when you create the shape. When the dialog box is closed, you won't be able to return to these options. However, you will still be able to make edits to these parameters individually. To finish the primitive shape, I'll click OK. With the primitive shape added, I can make edits to the faces, edges, and points using the Edit Form tool. The Edit Form tool is a powerful way to refine sculpted shapes, which utilizes intuitive push-pull editing techniques. To begin editing the shape, I'll click the Modify icon in the toolbar. When I do, the Edit Form dialog box appears. You may have already noticed that loops around the perimeter of the shape are highlighted in green, signifying the lines of symmetry. Notice that you can cruise over the shape and highlight different entities on the body. When using the Edit Form tool, you can move, scale, and rotate any geometry or geometries. Geometry can be points, edges, faces, and bodies, and mix of geometries. And when I select a face, the corresponding faces opposite of the lines of symmetry are highlighted as well, so any edits to the selected faces will simultaneously occur on their corresponding faces across the lines of symmetry. Additionally, a manipulator appears normal to the selected face. Use this tool to push and pull geometry, rotate, scale, and extrude to create the desired edits. There are a few more capabilities available with the Edit Form tool that you can access with a few hotkeys. By holding the Alt key on PC or Mac while dragging a face with the manipulator, the selected faces extrude in the direction of the edit. 
creating new topology and a new set of faces, points, and edges, all while maintaining curvature continuity. Additional topology can be added by releasing the mouse button and clicking and dragging once again with the Alt key depressed. Fusion 360's Sculpt environment has another useful feature, nearly unlimited undo capabilities. This allows you to return your shapes to previous states quickly and easily. Watch as I click the undo icon, and you'll see that each edit made to the shape is undone step by step. I can also quickly do this through the marking menu by right-clicking and swiping to the left or 9 o'clock position. Keep in mind that at any time in the design process, you can exit or re-enter the sculpt environment. This unique workflow allows for a hybrid approach of combining parametric modeling capabilities with fast, freeform modeling flexibility. Just like any other body within Fusion 360, the sculpted shapes can be hidden from the browser. To hide this shape, I'll navigate to the Bodies folder in the browser, locate the sculpted body, and click the light bulb to hide it. Next, I'd like to show you how to create an ergonomic shape using an open profile primitive shape. I want to create a handle, so I'll select the cylinder primitive from the Create drop down menu. I'll choose a plane, specify a center point, and then enter a diameter dimension. Once the diameter is specified, the open profile shape appears in the canvas, the modeling window, along with drag handles and a dialog box. I'd like to mirror this shape to create a symmetrical shape, so I'll change the symmetry to Mirror along the x-axis. While I could add additional loops and edges to the shape now, it's usually good practice to keep sculpted forms in low detail and then add in details locally when required. This gives you the flexibility to add complexity where it's needed and to maintain simplicity wherever you can for your design. I'll click OK and the cylinder is added. To build this ergonomic handle, I'll use the Edit Form tool to create the basic shape I want. And using the various tools on the manipulator, I'll rough out the overall shape. If the geometry of the shape is too simplistic to create the details you want, add edges and points for flexibility and control in editing. T-Spline technology lets you create bodies with edges that are perpendicular to other edges, as opposed to only allowing entire loops around the perimeter of the shape. I'll add a few edges at the front of the model, so I can refine a more detailed area of the model. Remember that adding local detail only where you need it is the best way to create a shape. The more detail you have, the more work you'll have to do to control the shape and ensure that it's smooth. From the Modify drop-down menu, I'll select Insert Edges, pick an edge, and in the dialog box you'll see a few options become available. Again, Maintaining this balance of local refinement for complex surfaces and simplicity for smooth surfaces is a best practice for reducing the overall complexity of T-Spline's models. I'll add a few edges to this shape, with the edges added. I'll use the Edit Form tool once again to add the desired details to this handle. A nice time saver here is the ability to double click on edges to select entire loops. This lets you edit an entire continuous edge of the shape to make more drastic manipulations. As you can see, creating complex freeform shapes and topologies within the sculpt environment is simple and intuitive, providing you with easy to use tools and robust editing capabilities. In this lesson, we only covered a few of the most basic and often used tools in the sculpt environment. Many more powerful modeling capabilities are available to you in Fusion 360, like soft edge modification, edge creasing, pulling to match existing geometry, as well as creating mechanical features and shelled components from sculpted bodies. Experiment with all of these tools to create your own refined freeform shapes inside the sculpt environment.